Hello and welcome to this brief video on Browing Software. Browing Software is a combination of cheat sheet, formula and recipe book. This video will use the particular example of Brew Target, but there are a range of other options. Brew Target is a well equipped open source toolset and so makes a great place to start from. It is reliable, accurate, and flexible. Brewing software is a useful part of the home or small-scale brewer's toolkit. They can tell you what ingredients to use, volumes, how to balance components, calories, when and what you mix, and more. This is a single package that can also record your own recipes and experiments. Let's begin by exploring the example software. You first select a beverage. This gives you a series of selections like equipment, volume, gravity measurements, alcohol volume, bitterness, boiling time, and the list goes on in this first screen. Other options allow you to begin selecting styles. And this gives you a description and other cliff notes that can be transposed to. The equipment options are next, and again, you can add your own to this list. And there is an extensive list of ingredients. These are broken down into two areas, fermentable and hops. The fermentables, whilst extensive, are not exhaustive. The advantage here is that you can record individual brands and describe them how you see fit. Hops are similar, with an extensive but not exhaustive list. Then Brew Target offers you a range of miscellaneous items. This includes brewing salts, pH components, flavouring, and even water recipes to name a few. This can be divided through the use of folders. Finally, there is yeast. The two main manufacturers, Y Yeast and Y Labs, are listed, as are several less common ones, like the Safael product. If you have an in-house or obscure brand of yeast, these can be added in turn, or removed. Now that you have seen the seven major sections, let's look at what the software can do for you in practice. First are the automated calculations. There is volume, both initial and boil size for beer. Here it is throwing up an error message, until you match the figures. This is useful if you are uncertain or unfamiliar with conversion rates, efficacy, or proper calculations to use. Or if you are short on time and want a simple means of knowing how much to use initially to reach your final volume. You can see how moving from beer to cider the International Bitterness Units, or IBUs, drop to zero, but the alcohol by volume goes up slightly. As said earlier, these programs act in part like a fancy calculator that does much of the work for you, so long as you give it the right information. This has only been on the recipe page. Next, there is a list of extras. Here, you can record the temperature, brewing dates, and more. You can add notes about the processes, materials, and taste. The final page is the instruction page. By matching the measures of this screen and your own measure of the brew, wash, or mash, you can be confident in producing something very similar to the recipe namesake. The exact results may need to be modified based on how and what you have used to create it, but through the flexibility of the other screens, you can add these amendments for example, your malt does not create quite as dark a product, and therefore you either need to add a colouring agent or more malt. This can be noted and included in the overall program, allowing you to keep what is essentially a brewer's diary. There are also tools on pitch rates, priming and unit conversion. These are very useful for working on the fly, figuring out what you want to add from your initial cultures, or, if you're working on a large-scale kegging process, how much sugar or similar to add to the keg. The final window to look at here is the ingredients table. 
This is a series of tabs with the fermentable ingredients listed in the first screen, hops in the second, and then your miscellaneous and yeast screen. These provide details on things like the volume, time, and concentrations of key components. There is a final screen for beer in particular, which is for the mashing process. Brew target in particular is very good, but brewing software in general is very helpful. Brew target is reasonably well populated from the start and ready for beer brewers without any extra work. Preferring on working with other beverages, it will need a little bit of extra work to add other recipes and materials. This can be done by populating lists with a simple import feature. Finally, there is one minor caveat to this. The entire program works in Imperial units. This is a minor but ongoing annoyance, and it would be nice if there was a button somewhere that allowed you to immediately convert everything from ounces, pounds, and so forth into grams, kilograms, and liters. Thank you for watching this video. If you have found it useful, consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. Please post any comments, questions, or suggestions below.